Welcome back to week 37 of Top 5 Steam Profiles of the Week. Y'all know the deal. Let's get into these profiles. Coming in at 5th place, we got SAE with a lovely pixel art theme profile. I think SAE is a great demonstration here that something simple can still look very well. His entire profile follows a beautiful color scheme all throughout and everything just fits so perfectly. Starting us off, we can see an achievement showcase of his name with a workshop showcase of some pixel art styled characters and below that a basic info box showing some information about them and this is followed by yet another artwork showing some of their PC specs. And that's it, it's gonna wrap up the profile. So like I was saying, it is a very simple profile but you just put everything together so so well and it looks very well so I got no edits for you my friend, congratulations on getting fit place. Coming in at 4th place, we have Vertigo with a green theme profile. I feel like we rarely see green profiles on the series, so it's nice to see something new. We can also see that he's kind of going for something sort of jungle styled. Um, and I like the choice of a transparent profile theme for this one, I think that was a great idea. In his artwork of the profile, we can see a samurai of some sort that is also blended in with the background. And we can also see the sort of jungle bits peeking through the white tones. Underneath all those, we can see another info box of some information. And then he is going to go ahead and end us off with a raindrop styled artwork. Now, although I do like this, I feel like the white outlines here are just a little bit too harsh. Um, if you have access to the project files, I would go ahead and see if you could remove those outlines. I think it would fit your profile a lot better. I mean, other than that, if I go ahead and scroll up all the way here, you already know what's going to happen. You're level 20, man. Come on, you sent yourself for failure. Make sure you go down to the motherfucking description, level up your Steam profile, steamlevelup.com, level up to level 40 to get that green border. Quick and easy, fast and cheap, make sure you use steamlevelup.com, steamlevelup.com, steamlevelup.com. And for the person who always puts the timestamps of the steamlevelup.com plugs, here's a few more for you. Steamlevelup.com, steamlevelup.com, steamlevelup.com. You know, that's honestly crazy because like I'm just editing the video now and I don't even know how that plug got into the video. It kind of like just spawned in. But I mean, now that it's there, I mean, I may as well leave it. <laughs> that's gotta be a record for the longest plug i've had but other than that i ain't trying to take the spotlight away from you vertigo congratulations on this profile and congratulations on getting fourth place my friend coming in at third place we have snowlight with a pink anime theme profile snowlight has actually submitted a few times now so i'm super happy to finally be able to include him in a video starting us off in his artwork showcase we can see a wonderfully animated character and i also just want to point out the attention to detail of the shadows of the hair um the shadows seem to also move with the hair strands and small touches like this really make the artwork very beautiful and i think it's just super creative below that we can see my man's glorious setup in his info box and this is followed by a badge collector of some hearts and then he has a few more images and scenes to fill up the rest of the profile, which I'm going to go ahead and quickly scroll through. Overall, this is a very beautiful but still simple profile. The only edit I would have for you would be in this first showcase over here. If you do have enough file size for it, because I know Steam can be stingy with only giving us 5 megabytes. But if you do have enough, I try and see if you can go ahead and increase the frame rate a little bit. I think with the higher frame rate, this artwork will just look a lot smoother and just a lot nicer. But if it's not possible, this still looks beautiful as is. So, with that being said, my friend, I got no more edits for you, and congratulations on getting third place. Coming in at second place, we have Chris6667 with a wonderful war theme profile. I also believe that the overall theme of the profile is based on the game Sniper Elite, uh, based on his achievement showcases, but I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And there's also a bunch of static images in this profile, which when I get to, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and scroll through some of them, is I feel like if I describe all of them individually, I'm just going to be repeating myself. So in the first artwork of the profile, we can see an amazingly animated character. The movement of the gun combined with the shot, as well as that water moving in the background is just super beautifully drawn, my friend. And it just fits the background so well. Also, whoever color corrected the character to match the colors of the background, did a great job because it looks like it's all one image beneath those we can see a few more scenes as well as a few more images of the character which i will scroll through we can also see that he has the 100 achievements for the sniper elite series so he's definitely a big fan of this game continuing on we can see there's just also a bunch more static images and this ultimately leads us to the end of the profile we can see a yellow nuclear styled emoji art 
Overall, I do think this is a super well-made profile, but I do think there may be a little bit too many images. And keep in mind, this is all constructive criticism, and since you are in second place, I do just have to be a little bit more critical. But I'm sure you could tell as I was scrolling through the profile, it was just kind of like image after image, and there wasn't too many breaks between them. So I think if you cut down the amount of images used maybe in half, um, and only use your best ones, and maybe add a little bit more dividers like info boxes or things of that nature between some of those images, then it really give the viewer like a nice break between some of them. And I think it would just really elevate the game of the profile. Other than that though, my friend, this is still a wonderful profile. Great work and congratulations on getting second place. Now, before we get into first place, I just wanna say that if you guys were trying to enter for next week, please go down to the description, join our discord and paste your profile in the hashtag top five profiles chat. Every week I'll go through the chat and choose the five out of our entries, so if you want to be considered, feel free. And for the moment y'all have all been waiting for, coming in at first place, we have my main man Salty with a new and improved wonderful retro theme styled profile. He was on the series once before and he's back with something new. I am the designer of this profile, so I will try to be as unbiased as possible. And while I'm at it, may as well plug myself. If you guys are looking for some artwork, feel free to add me on Steam. I'll have my profile link in the description. In the first showcase of Salty's profile, we can see a wonderfully animated character in sort of a cityscape. I personally love how the triangle animations and those sort of plasmas just naturally draws you to the center. It just naturally forces you to focus on the character and give all your attention to the character. Now beneath that, we can see a few more scenes of some neon styled cars. And this leads us to an info box, and it seems that Salty is from Switzerland, so shout out to all my Swiss watchers, I know you guys exist. Salty then continues on to have a bunch more showcases to fill up some space, which I'm going to quickly scroll through, but all of them also still follow his neon theme. Overall, this profile is amazing, my friend, and it's definitely one of the best I've seen on the series so far. And although there isn't a crazy amount of animations or images, the quality of the ones you have there is top tier and as well as your filler showcases all match super well. The only thing that's kind of tripping me up about this profile is this emoji art. I'm not exactly sure what it is, maybe it's just like the colors of it, but something just doesn't feel right to me. It feels very out of place compared to the rest of the profile. If I were you, I may honestly just remove it altogether, or possibly try to go for a new design that uses a lot more darker tones and a very few lighter tones. However, with that being said, my friend, this is still a very, very well-made profile, and it's very clear that you spent a lot of time on this. Congratulations on getting third place, my friend. And congratulations on winning week 37 of Top 5 Steam Profiles of the Week! That's gonna go ahead and wrap up this week's Top 5 Steam Profiles of the Week. If you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And if you guys would like to enter for next week, please navigate down below to the description and join our Discord and go ahead and paste your profile link into the top five profiles chat. That's all I had for you guys today, so I'll see y'all next week.